Okay, let's get this over with, people. Hey, this is Crash Bandicoot, and I am going to do a rant on SpongeBob Truth or Square. So, for those of you that don't know SpongeBob, I don't know how you don't know him. He's the oldest one to live under sea and goes on a lot of crazy, stupid adventures. Now, this Truth or Square was about um, Krusty Krab's 11th birthday or anniversary or whatever, something like that. And they were gonna celebrate it. But then along the line, they got stuck in the freezer. And then along the line, they got stuck in the vent. So then they were like talking about stuff that they remember and reminiscing. The first thing I'll talk about is the plot. The plot, I guess, is pretty good. But it's very repetitive. Doesn't it seem like, I know it's not just me, it seems almost just like SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. Doesn't it seem like that? Especially the opening sequence where he's like, get ready and stuff, just watch it again and it'll, you'll see it looks almost just like the movie and stuff. Then of course, Plankton. Plankton is out to get the Krabby Patty secret formula and stuff. And again, doesn't succeed. And now we're gonna talk about the humor. The humor was like any other Spongebob thing. The only thing that I thought was clever was the name. I didn't even know that it was like the 10th anniversary or something like that. It's a good thing that they didn't name it like something corny like Spongebob 10th anniversary. Truth or Square. That's a good name. It was like, the humor was like any other Spongebob that you would expect. You know, it was funny. And stuff I chuckled here and there. And stuff like that. I don't know, the funniest part that I thought was that Mr. Krabs got Patrick as a security guard, I think it was, and then <laughs> every time you see in Squidward, he like pushed him up against the wall, like, who are you? <laughs> that was funny. Okay, spoilers for the movie and stuff. If you haven't seen the movie, then don't watch this part. Okay, now, the whole thing with the whole Spongebob and Sandy getting married, it's not true. Unfortunately, it's not true. They all just... Like said, psych, and everything's like a big slap in the face. It's just so stupid, man. That's the whole reason I watched the movie. Well, I actually would have watched it anyway. But I guess I couldn't do that because, like, kids show or whatever. But seriously, why would you go and make everybody anticipate that if you're just not going to do it? I bet you right after they saw that it wasn't real, like, half of the SpongeBob fans just turned because I was about to turn too, but then was like, no. My sister was like that, and stuff like that, but, you know, it was still a good movie, I guess. But, just too much like the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Too much like it. Oh yeah, and the other thing they have to talk about, there's like two stories. There's the Spongebob story, and then there's like the Patchy the Pirate story. He's like the number one fan of Spongebob and stuff. He's trying to host the anniversary for Spongebob, and he's trying to get celebrities and stuff like that. It was sort of, that part of the story is boring. And one point I was just like, hurry up and get to the Spongebob part of the story. Because it was just boring and stupid. They had like LeBron James and Tina Fey and Robert Williams and stuff. He was trying to get people and Pink. But that was the, that was boring. It was so stupid because he doesn't know that Spongebob's not real. And that was just stupid.